Welcome back to Global Business Report here on Arise News. Uh, artificial intelligence, which is an area of computer science, is widely used in business applications. It includes automation, data analytics, and natural language processing. It was invented to support humans, no doubt. It is uh, changing all aspects of life in the 21st century. Uh, most of uh, our interactions are in some way impacted by artificial intelligence. For example, when you call your bank and use Google to find locations. This form of intelligence has greatly impacted how businesses operate. Uh, many big companies such as Amazon, Huawei, uh, Google, etc. are using it in their businesses and are making high profits. New technologies are on the horizon and we should expect artificial intelligence to increase and expand along the way. And joining me in the studio for an in-depth analysis of the businesses of artificial intelligence is Mr. Collins uh, uh, Nabugo, the executive director of Eco Carrier. Collins, it's good to have you with us and good morning. Good to have you here. Good morning, Niyi. Good morning, Lagos. All right. So can you explain in details what AI is, artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence basically came from the concept of intelligence. Mm. And you know that intelligence is the propellant of civilization in mm. every society. True. So it's about amplifying some of the processes that you could naturally use your brain mm. or your intellect to do. So we use machine learning to measure, gauge, and um, you know, monitor the algorithms. Mm. Algorithms are <clears throat> like mannerisms, mm. what you do every day. You wake up in the morning, you brush your teeth. You wake up in the morning, you take up your phone and you make a call or you chat to your, mm -hmm. uh, someone and all that. So it's steady monitoring mm -hmm. all your habits and, and, and storing all these algorithms to help, um, you know, the so human the brain. The algorithms are like codes which you write for the instructions for the, uh, right. the computer to take over. Right. But this, 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 um, this is human interaction now, okay. not computer interaction. All right. The, um, when you talk about code, you're talking about computer interacting with computers. But okay. here you're talking about human interacting with computer. Okay. That's a kind of complex um, um, you know, you know, calculation. Mm. So it, it, it studies these algorithms, things that you do every day. They are big data. In a day, your, your brain is processing thousands and more, more mm. tools of thousands of these algorithms and this guy, um, uh, artificial intelligence, is mm -hmm. steady learning these things and storing it and saving it to suggest to you what to do the next time you are in that situation. For and instance, make an informed decision based on exactly. the data stored. Exactly. Very exactly. good. So, how can businesses leverage on artificial intelligence based on what you've just told us? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, well, all kinds of businesses can benefit, should benefit from artificial intelligence. Yeah. For instance, you have Alexa, who helps you, um, who has been integrated. There was, there was Siri, now you have Alexa. Um, he has been integrated, or she rather, has been integrated into um, processes like transportation processes such as Uber, Taxify, yeah. you know, so you are driving, so it tells you what road to go. Okay. Because these, these, this Alexis has already studied algorithms of how the roads, when you get to this point of the road, what happens and all that, and it tells you. So, for instance, it could help. It not just could help, it's already helping in the in, in transportation sector. For instance, you could avoid a lot of big traffic, mm. like me coming here now. Um, you know, I, there was a, there's a lot of traffic in yeah. Lagos right now. So before I step out of my house, I have to check the map. Mm. And the, the artificial intelligence helps me to tell me, don't take this road, mm -hmm. because it's a lot of traffic, so I could take another road and even okay. suggest to you, this is faster, mm. this is sharper, there's traffic on that road. So That's it's, just it's, in the it's, it's working in line with the GPS as well? It's working with the GPS. Yeah. Another area, of course, fundamentally, is in the area of education. Yeah. Right. Um, countries, uh, advanced countries such as China right mm. now is using this, um, you know, to help integrating the educational system yeah. with the HR system, with the computer system, with the science system and all of that. So what China is doing right now, having studied big data, they have well over a quarter of a billion mm. um, pupils in the, in the elementary schools. So they build artificial intelligence around the algorithms of these kids. So the next generation that China will be employing in the next couple of years, yeah. they don't have to write application letters. Oh. Yeah, they don't have to go through the normal tests, regular tests that you go through mm -hmm. in your regular yeah. uh, school because these artificial intelligence are already studying the algorithms mm. from the age of four all the way to 12. Then when you get to 12 years old, it keeps on studying. Yeah. So by the time you are in Form 3 or Form 4, mm. 
the artificial intelligence is already suggesting to the government or educational system, these uh, uh, 1,000 kids mm. are exceptionally good okay. in sciences. You need to put them in the, the you know, to study maybe aeroscience, yeah. maybe neuroscience, mm -hmm. maybe that. And by the time they get into that, the, the other students, oh, this one is very good in athletics. Mm. These ones need to go into athletic, special okay. athletics, um, yeah. you know, um, institutes and order. Mm. And by the time, uh, you know, they're graduating, mm. the, job, the jobs are already like big, big uh, companies such as IBM, who are away, they already have investment in these, um, in these artificial intelligence. Yeah. They already know in the next two years, we we're going to have the, another Mark Zuckerberg, mm -hmm. for instance, who is going to be best in fintech, mm -hmm. in that, in that. So it's really, really helping. What is it doing for, um, for the human resource? I, I, I'm very sure that in, in your questions, you're going to mm -hmm. ask me if, if, if people are not going to lose their jobs. Uh, yeah, that, that, but, that, was, that was going to be the, the next question. Okay, fine. Obviously, it's having an impact on businesses, as it were. But there's always that concern about uh, replacement for jobs. We've seen, uh, for example, in automotive industry, robotic arms, you know, welding, and, you know, you have a car assembly, and they're just uh, doing stuff by themselves. But they've already been putted with the programs as well. So... In that scenario, that will create a little bit of scare, you know, the human emotions when it comes to things like that. Right, right. Uh, it's not an issue because, mm. yeah, jobs will be replaced. Yeah. Me, for instance, you might have an issue in your job mm -hmm. right now. <laughs> but don't, don't be scared because you're not going to have a robot interviewing me yeah. sometime, all right? Mm -hmm. But then there's a lot of things that is it's going to help the automation. Yeah. Automation industry. All right. Very soon, sometime, even the TV stations will have to be automated. Mm -hmm. We might have to know the lyrics of the songs you will play mm -hmm. before you even play them. Because artificial intelligence is steady studying what happens in the TV right now. You have people on the background writing the news, editing the news, and doing this. They're not going to get out of mm -hmm. job because artificial intelligence is manned by computers. Okay. Right? and man-made computers. Right. So, so man must maintain the computers. So what you're saying is there's a fail-safe system that ensures that the compute, well, the AI itself is learning everything, is processing it, you know, won't make uh, informed decisions on its own without the uh, human interaction? No, that program, mm. human beings program them okay. to study, to learn, mm. and they're not going to go out of the, it's, it's like, it's like a parallel line. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's, you know what I mean? It's like a straight line. They never go out of it. Okay. Except there's an error. Another, you know, there has been some malfunction yeah. or they have reprogrammed it. Yeah. But without that, artificial intelligence is a straight line that just gives you the result that you impute in it. The difference is mm. it's faster than a human being. Okay. Now, let, let's talk about specifics here. So which business processes could be Automate by, automated by using AI. And another thing, um, I'm sure a lot of people would like to know, are AI specific for certain interactions, certain scenarios, or you can, they're easily adaptable, flexible, you can use them for a, any other, um, you know. Artificial that, intelligence uh, that we are experiencing yeah. now is, is, uh, is the simple one, right? There's a bigger one, there's a larger one, just like when you deal with computers, you have okay. supercomputers and then yeah, you have sure. mini computers. So um, these, uh, um, AI we're using now can never go out. Do you understand what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So it's a straight line. Mm -hmm. So different companies and different businesses can benefit depending on what you're feeding the AI. Okay. There is an AI that is even helping in child support, child care. Okay. In the US, in the Western world, it's being tested right now, mm -hmm. made by Apple. It's going to monitor the child. So you don't have to have a caregiver at home. You can go to work and leave your child at home. Mm -hmm. the, the machine is just connected next to the child. It uses quiet noise to detect when the child is sleeping, okay. when the child is crying, when the yeah. child is not breathing well, and it's automated into your phone or yeah. into your whatever device you're using, mobile device from wherever. You can know the child is alone, yeah. no child giver, but then this AI monitors yeah. every activity of the child and informs you what the child is about. That's in, the, in, the, at, in something as delicate yeah. and sensitive as child support for a toddler. Yeah. How much more? in the area of education, like I said, yeah. in the area of medicine, mm -hmm. medical sciences. Now, AI is studying uh, the, the algorithms mm -hmm. for, uh, for someone with a heart condition, okay. a cardiac arrest. <clears throat> you might not have a cardiac arrest again in the future uh, because it's studying the movement, how your heart is breathing mm -hmm. and everything, and it informs this patient when to take their drugs, when to, um, you know, to relapse and mm -hmm. everything. Also helping even right. people in uh, um, 
um, what, what is it? epilepsy. Okay. It can help people because epilepsy so far doesn't have a cure, but it can help with the dimension and the position and the movement and everything it can help to contain mm. uh, epileptic patients. All right. And let me just bring it back really, really, really low. In in uh, I'm going back to China again <laughs> uh, because. <clears throat> All right, go ahead. Um, uh, because w what you're telling us right now is that it's so adaptable. You talked about health sector. Right. Uh, you know, you can use it in the banking sector. You're talking about uh, automotive industry. You talk right. about uh, our daily, you know, uh, interactions, as it were, when we go and do stuff. Uh, even from the visuals we're looking at, uh, you see automotive uh, courier, right. uh, AIs, robotics, you know, delivering stuff to, to people in you know, over there. So. In, in such a scenario, you, you talked about we using the simple AI here in Nigeria. So, which brings me to the next question. Can small businesses actually afford this technology you speak of? You know, so d d definitely there are complex AIs and there's simple ones. So, can uh, small businesses in Nigeria actually afford it briefly? Definitely. If a business, if a small business is, um, what's the word? Not, not insignificant. I'm yeah. trying to find a word. Mm. If such a business, okay, look at the arm givers, mm -hmm. the arm receivers, the right. people, the beggars mm -hmm. that, that solicit for arms. Yeah. I think they're about the least placed people, most uh, least privileged people mm -hmm. in the society. Yeah. They, they are like the mostly unbanked, mostly un, uh, you know, identified. Most True. of them don't have identities, don't have banks, don't really have family, you know, to fall back on in China, yeah. this population makes up you have over 150,000 beggars okay. all across China mainland. With artificial intelligence, they are able to help the beggars. A beggar right now, just in China, just has an ID card mm -hmm. on his neck, mm -hmm. wearing an ID card. But on that ID card, you have artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. A QR code is in that. Because he doesn't have a bank, he doesn't have ID, that's all he has. So if you're going to give an arm to this guy, mm -hmm. you just come to him and then you scan that ID card. There's a, there's a smart QR code. Okay. When you scan it, you've already donated and then you put how much. So wow. you, you're a beggar, I want to help you. I don't need to have cash. Indeed. I just scan you and then I donate, I give money to you. Indeed. That's in China. Indeed. So if a beggar is going to be aided right. to, 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 uh, with his livelihood, how much more? Any sort of small business at very all good. in the world, very and good. of course in Nigeria. Yeah, very flexible. On that note, uh, Collins Nabugu, Executive Director, Eco Carrier, I'd like to thank you very much for your thank thoughts you. on AI and uh, very enlightening. It's good to have you. you.